Hey, Abbott, what time is it? Please, what time is it? It's time for the Abbott and Costello Show. We're on the air for ABC here in Hollywood. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go with the Abbott and Costello Show. <laughs> Costello Show with their new singing discovery, Susan Miller with the Les Baxter Singers. Broadcasting tonight from the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood, home of Ken Murray's Blackout. So hold on to your chairs, folks, for here they are, Bud Abbott and Luke Costello! Costello, Costello, come over here. This is yeah, the, opening yeah, yeah, night, yeah. the opening night of our new program in your late. What took you so long to get here? Yeah, but I drove over my hot rod car. Hot rod? Yeah. You know what that is. What do you a mean? A hot rod? Ha! That street got us a gas and a steering wheel. Oh, you, <laughs> you idiot. You shouldn't be allowed on the street with that thing. Now that you haven't even got a driver's license. Oh, yes, I have. I had one since I was four years old. I, uh, how could you get a driver's license when you were four years old? This is California, ain't it? I... <laughs> Costello, it's people like... It's people like you that give California drivers a bad reputation. I give them a bad reputation? Yes. Oh, yeah? Well, the California drivers are all right. The guys that are causing the trouble are those tourists who come out here and drive on the right side of the road. <laughs> Costello. <laughs> Costello, how can you be such an idiot? How can I be such an idiot? How can you be such an idiot? I'm taking shots. Yeah. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. The first night of a new broadcast, and you couldn't even be on time. What detained you? Well, I stopped by Rita Hayward's house to make a date with her for the night, but she won't go out with me on account of my dry scalp. Your dry scalp? She says every time I ask her for a date, she tells me to go soak my head. <laughs> oh, come on, Costello. Let's get over to the broadcasting station. Oh, yes. Come on, hop in my hot rod. We'll be there before you can say Jerk Robinson. Jerk Robinson? Yeah. <laughs> you mean Jack Robinson. The Robinson I know is a jerk. All right. <laughs> be quiet, Costello. <laughs> Here's a friend of mine who wants to say something important. Friends, tonight's sort of a birthday for Abbott and Costello. Mm hmm. Tonight, Bud and Lou become new members of our family, the ABC family of great Wednesday night shows. One very prominent member is Mrs. Crosby's son, Bing, who puts aside his golf clubs and baseball bat to return to the air later this evening. Each Wednesday night, you'll hear Bing's universally loved songs, his famous patter, and his easygoing banter with guest stars. Bing's special guest tonight is Gary Cooper. Yes, it's a show you won't want to miss. Among its features will be a hilarious Western musical sketch featuring Gary and Bing. And speaking of hilarity, that's the quality Abbott and Costello's new family is full of, because their killer cycle kin include such comedy programs as the Jack Parr and Henry Morgan shows. It's a family you'll want to listen to every Wednesday night. Abbott and Costello, Bing Crosby, Jack Parr, Henry Morgan, plus Box Pop and Mayor of the Town starring Lionel Barrymore. Remember, they'll all be heard over most of these ABC stations. And now back to ABC's Abbott and Costello Show. Well, Costello, this is the American Broadcasting Company Studios. Come on, let's go in. Well, here we go, Abbott. Boy, am I happy. We're back on the air. Oh, we're back on the all air. Right, all right, all right. Take it we're easy. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Well. Pardon me, but aren't you Lou Costello? That's me, lady. Mr. Costello, last night I dreamt that I went out with you, and I was never so insulted in my life. Take that! Ooh, how? Now, the next time I dream about you, maybe you'll act like a gentleman. Goodbye! <laughs> how do you like that, Abbott? The next time she dreams she's got a date with me, I won't even show up. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if Jane Russell slapped me. Costello, why should Jane Russell slap you? Because I dreamt about her the other night and she had a reason. <laughs> yeah, come I mean, on, I Costello. I may have paid a check. I gotta say the other part. All right, come on. Open that door and let's go in. Okay. Hey, just a minute. Hold on there. You can't take that kangaroo into the studio. Kangaroo? That's my partner, Lou Costello. Oh, pardon me, Chubby. The pouch fooled me. Now, uh, look here. Just a minute, doorman. You can't insult me. Abba, let me handle this. Listen, uh, you, if it wasn't for your wife and three kids, I'd beat you to a pulp. Oh, yeah? I'm not even married. I'll wait. All right, quiet. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> quiet, Costello. Look, doorman. 
We're the no sh- new show that's opening on this network tonight. We're Abbott and Costello. Abbott and Costello? Yes. I knew the network needed new shows, but Abbott and Costello. Uh, heavens to Betsy. <laughs> Oh, never mind that. Uh, what studio are we in? Right through that door and go to H. Uh, go to what? Go to H. That did it. One of us was going to be flat on his back. Put up your hand. <laughs> there, now let that be a lesson to you. Well, don't stand there, Rabbit. Pick me up and carry me in the studio. <laughs> oh, come on, Costello. We'll be late. Well, what are you worrying about, Abbott? Suppose we don't get on the air. I don't have to worry about radio. I've got plenty of rackets. Uh, what, for instance? Well, there's my invention. I'm crossing cats with mice. Crossing cats with mice? <laughs> what good is that? Well, it'll be good for people that don't like cats and don't like mice. Uh, how does it work? <laughs> well, the cat eats the cheese and then chases itself out of the house. <laughs> Another racket, too. I'm taking bets on the World Series, Abbott. I'll bet you 50 to 1 that St. Louis don't win tomorrow's game. Oh, why, you dummy. St. Louis isn't even in the World Series. Well, in that case, I'll bet you 100 to 1. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, Castell. Open that door and let's get inside. Abbott, I wouldn't touch that door. I'm a Harvard man. What has you being a Harvard man got to do with opening that door? That door has got a Yale lock. Um, <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll open the door. Gee, Abbott, this American Broadcasting Company has got some beautiful studios, haven't they? Oh, pardon me. Young man, could you tell me how to get a studio A? No, I'm a stranger here. Well, you walk down this hall, turn to the left. When you come to the end of the hall, you turn right past the music room. Just a minute. Wait a minute. You asked me. I asked you what? How do you get the studio A? Yeah. Well, you go down the hall, turn to the left. Will you you wait? Wait a minute. (laughs) We're new here ourselves. Oh, of course. You're Abbott and Costello. Yeah, that's right. Well, 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 well. Abbott and Costello, I never miss your broadcast. That's wonderful. Yeah, I never hear them, so I never miss them. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Well, never mind her, Costello. Now, before we go into the studio, I want to warn you that people are going to work with us are lovely people. Uh, You're going to do everything they can to help us, and I want you to treat them with respect, because we're going to be one big happy family. Ah, you don't have to worry about me, Abbott. I'll be nice to everybody. By the way, you met all these people that are connected with the new show. Could you tell me their names so that when we get into the studio, I can say hello to them? I'd be glad to. Well, now, let's see. There's uh, Donald Ware, Jim Watt, and somebody. Now, wait a minute. And Wait a minute. Wait let's a start with the producer. Tell me the producer's name. Where? On our show. Uh, certainly. Look, Abbott, you just said you knew all the people's names. I do. Then tell me the name of the producer. Where? Where? Anywhere. Tell it to me here. I just... I just told you. Where? Where is the producer? How do I know where he is? I never even met the guy. I only asked his name. Where? Where? Right here. Just a second ago, Abbott, I said to you, will you please tell me the producer's name? And I told you. You told me what? I didn't tell you what. I told you where. What is the name of the engineer? Okay, I'll bite. What is the name of the engineer? All right. What is correct? Certainly. Abbott, are you sure we've got an engineer on the show? Of course. What is his name? That's right. What's right? Certainly. Maybe I could do better if I see the people with my own eyes. Look, Abbott, where is our engineer? No, 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 no. Where is our producer? If he's smart by now, he's hiding. He He is not hiding. You asked me to tell you the names of the people on the show, and I'm telling you where is our producer and what is the engineer? What is the engineer? Well, the engineer is the guy who sits in the control room over here. He turns the knobs on. I know that. I know that. And what is his name? I'll tell you if you tell me. Frank, what? What? The engineer's name. What is the engineer's name? It certainly is. It certainly is what? Of course. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Up to now, you ain't told me nothing. <laughs> now, Abbott, let's forget about the engineer and the producer. Are we going to have a sound man on the show? Oh, you bet we are. What is the sound man's name? Uh, no, what is the it's engineer? It's the engineer. I know that. Wait, I know that. Right. Look, I'll put it this way. Who is the sound man? Who is the sound man? If you tell me who's on first, uh, help me out slug. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Somebody is a sound man. I know that without you telling me. Then why did you ask? Because I want to know the name of the guy who makes the sound. I just told you. Somebody makes the sound. All right. What is his name? No. What, what is, is the, the engineer? engineer? <laughs> yeah, look, look, Marcella. Where is the producer? What is the engineer? And somebody is the sound man. This gets worse as it goes along. Listen, Abbott. We got a sound man on our show. That's right. We have. Certainly have. Then somebody makes the sound. Certainly. Now, on page nine in the script, the phone bell rings. Right. Well, somebody has got to ring the bell. He will. Who will? Somebody. Somebody will ring the bell. Well, somebody better ring the bell. <laughs> if he doesn't ring the bell, you can fire him. Yes, if he... 
Wait a minute, Abbott. If the bell don't ring, who do I fire? Just fire somebody. There's a good piece of advice. The sound man forgets to ring the bell, so I just walk up to somebody and fire That's it. right. Then everybody will go around and say, what a stinking boss that Costello is. Oh, no. Abbott, we're paying good money to the sound man, ain't we? We are. Saturday night, we put the money in the envelope? We do. Somebody cuts the money? Uh, every dollar. What's his name? No! Oh, why is the engineer? <laughs> Abbott, I've been in the studio and in the radio a long time. I'm used to getting kicked around. Now, you just told me that where is the producer and what is our engineer. Now, where tells Watt to switch on the sound man's microphone so we can hear the sound of the telephone bell? Now, what nods to where and where gives the cue to the sound man and somebody rings that bell? Now, you're on the ball. I may be on the ball, but somebody is knocking my brains out with that bat. <laughs> The Abbott and Costello Show. Let's go in and remember, be nice to everybody. Now, we're going to be one big happy family. Remember that. What's going on in here? Yeah, quiet, you two mugs. We're trying to pick a singer for our new show. Uh, Mr. Ware, we're Abbott and Costello. Oh, yeah? What took you so long to get here? I was home doing some house tricks. House tricks? Fine. House tricks with you. <laughs> Funny. Now shut up till I get through auditioning these girls singers. PDQ thinks so. <laughs> You're next, miss. She had 29 diamond rings. Yeah, all right, miss. That'll do. Now let's hear you. <laughs> yeah, all right, that, that's enough. That's enough. Thank you, Margaret. And tell your father I got that postcard he sent from Rio. And that's the one. That's the one we get. <laughs> I don't know which one of you girls to pick. Uh, I know. We'll draw straws. Here. Oh, I'll take this one. Oh, I'll take this one. Ah, that's too bad. Susan got the shortest straw. She loses. Oh, that isn't fair. I'm sorry, Susan, but you girls agreed that the loser would have to take the job. I know it's not going to be easy working with those two apes. Oh, that's a shame. A nice girl like her working with two apes. She must be going with a circus. Boys, this is your new singer, Susan Miller. Gee, that's wonderful. But I thought you said she was going to work with two apes. Uh, oh, two apes. Abbott and me. Right. Who are you talking about? Wait a minute. Costello. Remember how you made out with the doorman? Uh, Miss Miller, having you on the show is going to be a pleasure. I think you're swell. I think you're swell. I think you're swell. I think you're swell. Well, when the swelling goes down, you can introduce me. (laughs) Pardon me, this is my partner, Lou Costello. Gee, Miss Miller, you're beautiful. You've got everything a singer should have. And your voice is good, too. Well, I sure do thank y'all. Miss Miller, I detect a little southern accent. Are you from the south? I sure am from the south. I love the south. When I left the south, I left a part of me there. But you brought north, sister ain't bad. (laughs) Miss Miller, as a rule, I ignore women, but I would like to take you out tonight. No, I couldn't go tonight. I'm washing my dog. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm taking my dog to the dog show. How about Sunday? Sunday, I'm busy. What's your dog doing? I have Costello. <laughs> Costello, would you go out on Sunday with a dirty dog? It all depends, Abbott. Where do you want to take me? <laughs> well, Costello, I'm, I'm glad to see you like dogs. Yes, but we had to give my poor dog to the dog catcher. He took a bite out of my Uncle Mike's apple. You gave, you gave the poor dog away just because he took a bite out of your Uncle Mike's apple? This was his Adam's apple. I... <laughs> poor photographer. I'm sure going to miss him. Photographer? Yeah. How did you happen to name your dog photographer? He was always snapping people. <laughs> Funny. Wait for the snapper, please. This dog had film on his teeth. Oh, you're very comical, Mr. Costello. You know, I'd like to have you meet my father. You know, he's out here from Washington. He's a congressman. Of course, mm. he's only visiting California. His seat is still in Washington. That must be an awful strain on his suspenders. <laughs> hey. hey, no, it's just... Pay no attention to Costello, Miss Miller. Uh, how about singing a song for us? Hey, wait a minute, Abbott. Hey, Abbott, here's that man again. A few dozen laughs ago, I mentioned the new family Abbott and Costello are joining tonight, our ABC family of great Wednesday shows. Well, it's a family to laugh at, but not to be sneered at. Now, take unpredictable Henry Morgan. Morgan's the fellow who introduced a new type of radio comedy last year, satirical comedy that posts good-natured fun at everything. Morgan's impish wit doesn't even overlook his commercials. They're hilarious. 
In short, you might safely say, in our Wednesday night family, Henry Morgan and Abbott and Costello are really brothers under the grid. And that's a relationship that includes brother comedian Jack Parr, too. You'll also place Bing Crosby in the same category when you hear him tonight in his rollicking skit with guest star Gary Cooper. And listen every Wednesday night to our top-notch family of shows. Abbott and Costello, Henry Morgan, Bing Crosby, and Jack Parr, plus Box Pop and Mayor of the Town starring Lionel Barrymore. They're heard over most of these ABC stations. And now back to ABC's Abbott and Costello show. And now here is vivacious Susan Miller with the Les Baxter Singers. Susan sings Get the show started, and remember, we're on, a, we're on a new network, and we've got to do things that are different. We may do things that are different, but the jokes will be just the same. All right, never mind that. We should have a great season on ABC. Hey, I just figured out what ABC stands for. What? Abbott, Boers, Costello. Oh, no, no, no. ABC, what a joint. First, we had trouble with the doorman, and I don't like the producer. And well, another well, thing, well, uh, I don't like... Well, I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be working. I took this job to keep my voice in shape, to improve my diction. Why did you take the job? For the same reason as you. I need the money. Right. <laughs> Why, you nitwit, don't you realize that on ABC, you'll be heard by millions of new listeners? Yes, Habit. I can close my eyes and just picture the people listening. In Denver, I can see a little boy sitting on his father's knee. They're listening. In Patterson, New Jersey, I can see an old couple sitting by the fire. They're listening. In Madison, Wisconsin, I can see a boy and a girl sitting in a parked car. They're <laughs> Yes, Costello? Well, everybody can't be listening. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind that. Let's get on with our show. Come on, let's get our show started. Hey, Abbott, I'm not sure that I want to be happy. I don't think I'm going to be happy on this network. Now, don't be silly, Costello. There's nobody to bother us on this network. They don't even have one vice president. I know it, but they got 167 presidents. Uh, <laughs> Costello, what are you beefing about? Did, did any other network give you an office? No. Did any other network give you a beautiful blonde secretary? No. Did any other ne network give you a brand new Cadillac? No. Then what are you complaining about? This network didn't either. Uh, shame on you. Everyone is happy we're here. Look at all these telegrams. Here, read Here, here I'll, I'll read them. Go ahead. Oh, listen to this one. It says, Dear Costello and Abbott. Wait a minute. Costel I... Costello and Abbott? Yeah. That must be from your family. Here's another one. Here's another one over here. We are very happy that you are now working for the American Broadcasting Company. Well, who's it from? A cigarette company which hereafter shall remain anonymous. Uh, <laughs> Abbott, would you like a package of Q-bibs? Uh, no, all right, all right, all right. They are good for your free zone. All right, now, we've got telegrams from people all over the country. 
Yes. Here's one from a guy in Alaska who wants to sponsor our show up there. Madman Morris. Ma- Madman Morris in Alaska. What does he sell? He's a used sled dealer. Uh, uh, <laughs> never mind that, Costello. You have nothing to worry about. You have an ironclad contract with this network. Either way you say it, I got it. It's ironclad. <laughs> good. I got a good contract, I know. But how come I don't have a contract? Oh, now, Costello, I'm surprised at you. You know, I'll give you a square deal. Friends like us. <laughs> like, we, we, we couldn't put down on paper what we think of each other in a contract. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it would be the first contract ever to be banned in Boston. Oh, no. You're lucky to have a contract with ABC. Yes, but what an awful contract. Listen to this. Paragraph A, Clause 1. The party of the first part shall be known, unfortunately, as Louis Costello. Why, unfortunately? They tried to get Bob Hope. <laughs> and listen to this. Paragraph B, Clause 2. Whereas, and heretofore, because of henceforth, and in accordance with thereto, it is understood thereof, you know, hey, Abbott. You know, I fought for two weeks before we came to an agreement on that clause. And what did you agree on? That nobody knew what it meant. (laughs) Now, here's the part I don't like. Section 39. Lou Costello must not lose his fat, funny stomach. Well, this contract... (laughs) I can bring this hand something else. This contract is null and void. Well, wait a minute. How can they make you keep your stomach? How can they make me keep my stomach? Yeah. Well, listen to this. Section 42. Costello must drink beer for breakfast, beer for lunch, and milk for supper. Well, at least once a day they let you drink milk. Yeah, but the cow that gives the milk has to drink beer. (laughs) Now, get this, Abbott. Clause 22. Luke Costello shall have complete control over the program. I had a pretty smart lawyer. Clause 23. Disregard. Clause 22. They had a smarter lawyer. (laughs) Costello, that contract tells me... You know, Costello, that contract tells how to do everything but brush your teeth. Clause 25, how to brush your teeth. All right. <laughs> First, you take the yeah, all right, never mind. Forget the contract, Costello. Uh, look, the dr- director just gave us the cue to start the show. Now, go ahead. Our first show of the go season. Ahead. First show of the season. Here I go, Adam. Go ahead. Hey, Adam! Mr. Frickin', Mr. Costello, I'm Stanley, the head usher in this studio. Before you start the show, i got to know what signals you're going to use. What signals? You know, the signals you give the ushers to start the applause, laugh up the jokes. How dare you insinuate that we use signals to get laughs and applause? We don't need no ushers to start the laughs and applause. There'll be no signals. Do you understand? Uh, yes, sir. And one more thing. Uh, what's that? Be sure you watch when I hold up the applause sign. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. And as the head usher in this studio, may I welcome you. At last, I'm the usher in a comedy show. I used to work on soap operas. 5.30 to 6, I had to listen to Young with a Brown. Nothing but troubles. Six to six thirty, Ma Perkins. Nothing but troubles. Six thirty to seven, my true story. Nothing but troubles. Seven to seven thirty, more trouble. I go home and listen to the horrible Mrs. Schwartz. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, the horrible Mrs. Schwartz. I never heard of that program. What program? That's my wife. Uh... <laughs> what a life. Yes, I know. I used to be. I. <laughs> Yes, I know. You know, I used to be an usher in the theater. I had to wear costumes for every show. For Tobacco Road, I wore overalls. For Oklahoma, I wore chaps. For Showboat, they made me wear a sailor suit. When the next show came in, I quit. What was the next show? Gloomer Girl. <laughs> what, you, you think you got troubles, Costello. I've been an usher for 20 years. 20 years of being polite to people. 20 years walking up and down aisles. 20 years standing on my feet. But any show, I'm going to make a difference. The people are going to stand... The ushers are going to set everybody up. Everybody get out of there. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. Get him out of here. Get that guy out of here, Abby. All oh, you people, sit down. Don't get up. Sit down. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, Abbott. This is really going to be a great season. One big happy family. Oh, there you are, boy. Oh, Mr. Ware, we were just about to go on the air. Well, thank goodness I got here in time. Boys, this is a friendly network. Before we start our show, we insist that the actors go down into the audience and meet the people. Well, uh, do you think that's a good idea? Well, yes, but we lose more darn actors that way. <laughs> you get going, boys. Oh, yeah? Well, I ain't going to get down into that audience until I get good and ready. Costello, you're fired. I'm good and ready. Come on, Abbott. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's meet this gentleman first. Uh, how do you do, sir? Uh, welcome to the Abbott and Costello Show. Uh, what is your name? I'm Sam of Sam Fly Cleaning and Pressing. 503 West Fly Street. We press your pants while you wait. That's a square deal if I ever heard one. If you're pressing a guy's pants, he's got to wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Quiet, <laughs> Costello. Well, Sam, thanks for taking the trouble to come to our broadcast. 
And now yeah, let's... Uh, uh, the studio's only two blocks in San Quentin, yeah. Kentucky. 503 West Yeah, yeah, yeah just a minute, Mr. Up, please. Up. No commercials, take please. Take it easy, Abbott. Take it easy. He may be one of our sponsors. Yeah, well, <laughs> thank you for coming to our... Thank you for coming to our program. I uh, hope you listen in every Wednesday. I'll always listen in while I'm cursing at Sam cleaning the present Now, that's uh, enough. That's uh, enough. Just yeah. a minute. No free commercial. Oh, forget about him, Costello. Uh, let's say hello to this young lady here. Uh, welcome to our show, miss. Uh, what's, uh, what business are you in? I'm a clerk. Oh, that's fine. Now, where do you work? At Sam's Cleaning and Pressing. Uh, that's enough. Now, get her out of here, will you? <laughs> We've had enough of that. Wait a minute, Let's Abbott. try somebody else. Isn't there somebody in the audience that doesn't work at Sam's Cleaning and Pressing? I don't. Good. I'm on vacation from Sam's Cleaning and Pressing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, brother. Just a minute. Do you sell spot remover at that joint? We sure do. Well, run over and get me a gallon. I'd like to remove this spot from the show. No, 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 Costello. <laughs> Remember, this is a friendly network. Uh, look, here's a lady. Just come in. Uh, good evening, madam. Oh, hello. I tried to get here earlier. I hope I'm not too late. Too late for what? Oh, did they give away the electric refrigerator yet? Uh, uh look, lady. You're a little mixed up. This is the Abbott and Costello show. Abbott and Costello show? I've been robbed. You guys ain't given nothing away. You guys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Ten years on the air, and you ain't never give away nothing. I'm getting out of here. Please don't go, lady. I'll give you something. What? You can have Abbott. Abbott! Well, he's no prize. You're telling me. Shut up, Costello. I'm sorry, lady. You evidently got the wrong tickets. Uh, by the way, where did you get them? At Sam's cleaning and pressing. That's enough. That's enough. Wait a minute. Boys, boys, on stage, please. The engineer's ready for a test. Yes, sure. Yes, yeah, good. Now we're ready to check the killer cycles. Kill a what? Not kill a what? Kill a cycle. Why should I kill a cyclist? Never done nothing to me. Talk sense. <laughs> Talk sense, Costello. The engineer just wants to make a test. He knows what he's doing. He's a student of Marconi. I know all about that stuff myself. What do you know about Marconi? Well, it ain't as good with meatballs as spaghetti. All right, never mind. <laughs> now, boys, uh, let's get ready for the show. We're on the air in five seconds. Well, good. It's about time. Up to now, we've had nothing but trouble. But we'll show them, Abbott. Wait till our listeners get a load of this opening show of ours. Our first show. Stella, quiet. There goes the green light. Yes. We're on the air. Good. <laughs> And now, the American Broadcasting Company brings you the first Abbott and Costello show of the season. Hey, You have just heard the first program in the new series of the Abbott and Costello show. What's the program? I ain't done that. Costello, I want to congratulate you on a marvelous performance. You did a marvelous show. Come on, I'll talk you out. Costello will be back in just a moment. If you're wondering what to do after Abbott and Costello leave for the night, friends, wonder no more. Because listen to this. Coming up next over most ABC stations is another new and hilarious member of ABC's family of great Wednesday night shows. And starring is the bright young man who was the Army's number one comic of World War II, Jack Parr. Jack successfully carried his kidding over into civilian life. And just as Henry Morgan won honors as last year's greatest comedy find, so Jack Parr is winning this year's freshman funny man laurel. So stay tuned for laughs with Jack Parr. Then listen for the Bing Crosby Show, guest starring Gary Cooper, and the unpredictable Henry Morgan Show. Next week, we invite you to tune in early and spend the evening with all the members of ABC's family of great Wednesday night shows. Mayor of the Town with Lionel Barrymore, Box Pop, Jack Parr, Bing Crosby, and Henry Morgan. And now back to ABC's Abbott and Costello Show. And now here are Bud Abbott and Luke Costello with a final word. Well, Abbott, you were right. One big happy family. I never saw such a mixed up show in my whole life. Now calm down, Costello. Things are going to be all right. Everything's mixed up all over the country. Look at Washington. Look at all the presidential candidates we've got. Everybody is throwing their hats in the ring. Yes, and if they get any more hats in the ring, President Truman will be able to go back into his old business. <laughs> well, I gotta go now and get a pair of pants. Where? Over at Sam's Cleaning and Pressing 503. No, I'm not. Good night, Good night, Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. The Patterson, New Jersey, and everybody there. <laughs> Listen each 
Wednesday night at this time for another great Abbott and Costello show with Susan Miller and the Les Baxter Singers. This is Michael Roy saying goodbye until this same time next Wednesday. Stay tuned now for the Jack Carr Show, which follows immediately. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.